Welcome to Baseball News Club. My name is Chris, and today we're going to break down or try to break down what's going on with Craig Krimble. Why is he struggling? Is it mechanics? Is it mental? Is it velocity? Is it other? And we're talking about a player who has the highest save percentage of Major League Baseball. Yes, even higher than Mariano Rivera. He has 91% conversion rate. Now, he had a long off-season wait, if you recall. He didn't have spring training in 2019. He waited till late 19 to sign with the Cubbies, and since then, he's just been struggling. And here's an example of this year. Look at the frustration on his face. He had one game this year. We only got one out. Two and runs given up and four walks. Now, he gets ahead with the batters, which is interesting. He still gets ahead with the batters and gets him on two strike counts. It's just closing it out. Now, one big thing we did notice out of all the things we analyzed is his miles per hour. From 17 to 19, it dropped two miles per hour. That is huge. If you're throwing 98 miles per hour average, that means you're popping 99, 100. When you're averaging 96, that means you're popping maybe 97, maybe 98. Big difference. Major leaguers can tell that difference right away. Now he has a slider curve. It's I've heard Boston announcers call it a curve, but it operates like a slider. But here's an example. We had a 2-2 count, and he just threw a high fastball way away from where the catcher wanted. So what else we notice is his control is really off this year. The catcher wants it low, and look where it ends up. Just totally, I mean, that's not even close. So something's going on with his mechanics. I don't think it's mental. I mean, I know mechanics will mess with you mentally, but I think he's the type of guy that he can get past the mental part, but it can mess with you. But I think it's mechanics going on with him. Um, here's an example. We ended up losing the batter by throwing an inside pitch, and then the next batter, he loses it with his curve slider. And you can see it's just not popping very fast. It's just around 96 mile per hour topping out. No more 98, 99, 100. And here's another pitch where the catcher wanted it low when he put it right down the gut. Now, hey, if you're not going to be popping 97 to 99 and you're just doing 95 to 96, major leaguers are going to crush that pitch. They, there's a big difference between mile per hours. When you go from 96 to 97, there's a difference. When you go from 99 to 97, there's a difference. And look at this in Boston. He's popping 98, no problem. It's just now he's only popping maybe 96, 95. So his velocity is definitely down. He's going to have to learn how to adjust with that. And then one thing we noticed is his stance. Now look at his feet. They're wider now than they were in Boston in 2017. Now, I'm not a pitching coach. I'm not an expert. We're just noticing little differences in the video. So I don't know if that's creating a difference in velocity or creating a difference in control. And then also when he gets up to his peak when his leg is arched up, he's pointing down now with his toe versus before in Boston. It wasn't really that exaggerated. Again, I don't know if this is contributing to his velocity, contributing to his control, but we're just noticing these little differences. And then also his head. He's looking home now, and then in Boston 17, look, at he's looking over at the dugout. So I don't know if that has something to do with it either. It's just these little things I'm noticing with mechanics. Look, at his head's looking right at the other dugout, and then this year he's looking at home plate. Um, I don't know if that's impacting him. And then his stride to home, it looks the same. Um, but we notice his arms are dropping a little bit more than they were in Boston. In Boston, look at his shoulders and his arms. They're going way up and parallel with his shoulders, like you can draw a straight line, and then you look and... Chicago this year and it's kind of like arc. Now with the arcing of the shoulders we notice sometimes in Chicago he does have a straight parallel line from elbow to elbow and then sometimes he doesn't so I don't know if it's consistency. Um, now pitchers are creatures of habit you know if they do something over and over again they're usually pretty perfect on their delivery but with pitchers it, if they're off just a little bit mechanically it can affect their velocity it can affect their control and I think there's a with him it's a combination of two things. It's a little mechanical and his velocity. He's lost two miles per hour. He's got to adjust to that. He's only going to be successful if he really focuses on that control. Now, we found, again, examples to where his arms are perfect to where he was in Boston. Here's another delivery. Look at his shoulders. You can almost draw a straight line from elbow to elbow. That's how he used to throw in Boston, and we noticed this year in Chicago, sometimes those arms are arced. Sometimes they're perfectly parallel straight line from elbow to elbow, so I'm not sure if that is contributing to his control, but he's definitely got control issues. I don't think it's a deal breaker um, as long as he starts getting control because he's getting ahead on the batters, but without having that overwhelming 99, 98, 100 mile per hour you know, pitch, he's got to adjust to it because he, if he's just throwing 95, 96, Players are going to adjust to that. And finally, we're also noticing his leg follow through. He seems to be throwing his right leg very hard to the left, which is different than in Boston. So he might be also overthrowing. 
One thing we suggest for him is Trevor Hoffman in his career, he used to throw very high velocity and then he lost his velocity and he developed a change up and the rest of his history became the first closer to 600 saves and one of the best closers in major league history. So maybe Craig needs to develop a change up. I don't know, but I think it's fixable. I think he'll be fine. Thank you for watching baseball news club. Have a great day.